Hello, today we're going to be doing find closest number to zero, which is lead code problem number 2239. So this problem states, given an integer array nouns of size n, return the number with the closest value to zero in nums, in the array nums. If there are multiple answers, return the number with the largest value. So in the first example, we have negative 4, negative 2, 1, 4, and 8. The output is 1, because 1 is the closest number to zero. In the second example, both 1 and negative 1 are closest, the same distance uh, from 0. And because 1 is greater than negative 1, we pass back 1. So to solve this is pretty straightforward. We're going to create an integer called result, and we're going to try and find the closest number to 0. We'll just loop through the entire array, and if we find a number that's closer to 0 than the previous number, it'll replace the result with that number. So let's start coding that and see what we get. So I'll just call this the result. And initially, we're going to assign it to the integer max because oops, the closest distance could be the max value. So you want to make sure you get a number that's going to be replaced instead of making it zero or something because then the result could be zero, and then that wouldn't be accurate. Anyway, so let's just loop through these. Int i in nums. All right. So if we use the math abs function, if math abs of i is less than the math abs of the result. So in the first example, we have negative 4. And because we assigned result to the integer max, the absolute value of 4, of negative 4 is 4, is going to be way less than the integer max value. So it'll be result will be replaced with the number 4. With the number, I'm sorry, with negative 4. Or we also have to consider the fact that it could be equal. So if either one of those are true, oops, I used exclamation points. If either one of those are true, then we're just going to assign the result equal to i. And then we're going to return the result that we've gone through the entire array. Let's run this. And it is accepted. So let's debug it quick. So using the first example that leak code gives us, we have negative 4, negative 2, 1, 4, and 8. The result is some huge integer number. So we're going to go through. And initially, i is equal to negative 4. So the math absolute value of negative 4, which is 4, is way less than the integer max value. So we're going to assign result equal to negative 4. We do the same thing with 2. The absolute value of 2 is less than or negative 2. So it's less than uh, the negative 4. i becomes negative 2. And then finally, 1 is going to be less. To less distance from 0 than 2. And then they're just going to bypass the 4 and the 8. And so then you pass back the 1. And that is it. Whoop, let's submit it. OK, that was successful. Again, thank you for watching. Hope you learned something. And we will see you next time.